praying for? That Michael will be safe. Be released from prison. And, uh, somehow this whole thing will be made right. From your lips to God's ears. I just can't stop thinking about Carly. Now she must feel. I know if that was me, I... My mind would just be going to every worst possible case scenario. How imagining my child's pain and despair and wanting so badly to comfort him and tell him that everything was going to be all right, but just being helpless. Helpless is something Carly's not good at. Neither am I. You know, Carly's come to a terrible realization. What do you mean? She went over to see Dante today, and she says she blames herself more than anyone for this. Sonny, she regrets ever letting you into his life. Letting you be Michael's father. She said she's going to talk Jason out of whatever kind of revenge she's got planned. Well, the truth is, Dante's not to blame, I am. I saw him tonight. I went over to his loft. And there he was, staring at his badge and his gun, like somehow they had betrayed him, you know, like that badge is the reason why Michael's in prison. It couldn't be dedicated, honorable Dante's fault. So I picked up the gun and I put my finger on the trigger. Carly. <laughs> what, did, did anyone see you enter or leave the loft? Was He's any... fine. He's fine. And he's probably feeling pretty good about himself right now. I mean, I was brilliant, Jason. I took a page right out of Dante's book. I told him everything he wanted to hear. How oh, it's not his fault that Michael's in prison. It's all on me because I chose to be with Sonny and I brought Michael into this dangerous life. Hey, don't worry, I didn't lay it on too thick. I told Dante how much I hated that he turned Michael in. But I gotta tell you, the hardest part was not letting Dante know how much I despise him. You don't have to worry about Dante. And then there's Lulu. Man, it was priceless. She came over here tonight because she wants me to stop you. I'm supposed to ask you to keep away from Dante. Okay, you asked. I went to Lulu's apartment that night. Do you remember? Do you remember when we found out that Dante was hiding Michael and I went over there and I begged her to tell me where Michael was? I begged her to keep Michael safe. Mm -hmm. And she chose Dante. But now she's knocking on my door and she's begging me to look out for Dante. I'm supposed to be loyal to Lulu. I'm supposed to be merciful to Lulu. Because Dante's such a nice guy, because she's so in love with Dante, because Dante was only doing his job. <laughs> I told Lulu that Dante would be safe. And that you wouldn't hurt him. Carly. And you're not going to. You're not going to lay one finger on that son of a bitch or his backstabbing girlfriend. You're gonna leave Dante and Lulu alone because I'm gonna make him suffer. Just like Michael's suffering. How was Michael when you saw him? Brave, wonderful. Never once acted like he was afraid. What'd you tell him? That he could survive prison. You told me to believe, so I do. I told him that he was strong. And then he started teasing me. 
That's how Michael was dealing with going to prison. He was trying to make me feel better. Uh, sometimes it helps. You feel like you're doing something good for somebody. Mm -hmm. He's a hero. You know, he's a hero. He saved Jocelyn. I couldn't stop Claudia from taking her, but he could. So why? Why, God, is this happening? Is this why he woke up from a coma? So, so he could just go to prison? God has nothing to do with this. God let it happen, Jason. We all let it happen. <laughs> he was so brave today. I mean, there he was in an orange jumpsuit and shackles and they're walking him out. He could barely walk and he looked back at me and smiled like everything's gonna be okay. He looks so young, you know, he, he didn't look like a man, he looked like a little boy. And all I could see was every time that he fell and got back up and he looked at me like, mom, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> But he was just a baby. You know, that's my baby. Why is this happening? How can we let this happen? You said I, I was poison to my kids and I wanted to tell you you were wrong but the truth is violence defines my life and it's not fair to any child to expose them to that Sonny whatever mistakes you have made the one thing no one can fault you for is you love your kids I do I do love my kids but I, I think it's been kind of a selfish love because it's all been about being a father because my father was never around and I wanted to prove that I was better. But that's garbage. If I, if I care about my kids, then I, I should stay away from them.